Churli River flows quietly through this countryside, but the tranquility of its waters are just one face of it. Local history has it that the river is actually an artificial one. During the 17th century, in order to protect the land from the attacking Burgis, a canal was dug up under the orders of the Maharaja Krishna Chandra, the king of Nubia. While the river possibly safeguarded the people of Nodhya then from the enemy, little did Krishna Chandra realize the havoc it would later create in the lives of people like Nadu Bauri, a resident of Rabanbor village. The tragic flood of the year 2000 left him homeless and familyless when the raging waters of the Churni River swept them away. Whether it is his love for the river or his hopeless hope of suddenly seeing his family members in the swirling waters of the river, it is difficult to fathom. But Nadu Bauri continues till this day to sit by its banks. Over the years, there have been many efforts in containing the floods of the river and preventing soil erosion through the construction of embankments along the river. With conventional embankments failing to be effective on the Churni, the Nodhya District Irrigation Division, Government of West Bengal, decided to use geosynthetics for embankment on the river. For river embankments, the geosynthetics non-woven filter fabric and non-woven geotextile bags were introduced for an area of approximately 650 meters into 25 meter. The department selected a vital stretch, approximately 15,000 square meter, near the village Rabanbor for bank protection work. A trench two foot deep and four foot wide was excavated through the left bank of the river. The slope with a width of approximately 25 meter was prepared by first smoothening out the top soil. The filter fabric with one end in the trench was then unrolled right down to the shoulder of the embankment. A metal gabion was then placed in the trench atop the fabric. Next, the gabion was filled with boulders, thereby tightly securing one end of the fabric. The fabric was put into a similar trench at the top of the slope. The fabric gets evenly and tightly stretched across the slope with another boulder filled gabion placed in this trench. Along the slope, two layers of bricks were placed atop the fabric. The filter fabric safely in place. The next step was to take care of the soil erosion. 6,500 sand-filled PP non-woven geotextile bags were placed in two layers at the edge of the river bed. Each bag measuring 1 meter by 1.5 meter and 420 GSM was filled with locally available sand. Tech Geo non-woven geotextiles are manufactured by Tech Fab India Industries Limited at the Daman plant. These are manufactured from high quality polypropylene polyester stable fibers, which are mechanically bonded through needle punching by German Dilo machine. Tech Fab India was founded in 2003 with the objective of offering world-class geosynthetics products and services in India. Tech Fab India Industries Limited today has indigenous manufacturing plants at Rakoli, Khadoli and Daman. A vast team of highly qualified engineers and sales executives located at head office Mumbai and regional offices Ahmedabad, Bangalore, Chennai, Kolkata and New Delhi are deployed to extend prompt and personal attention to the customers. TechFab India Industries Limited manufactures a wide range of woven and non-woven geotech styles. Knitted and coated polyester as tech grid of uniaxial and biaxial. 
and glass fiber geogrids as tech glass, non-woven reinforced geocomposites, prefabricated vertical drain as tech drain, polypropylene rope gabions and metal gabions known as tech fab metal gabion, mattress and netting, geotubes as tech tubes. The manufacturing facilities are ISO 9001-2000 certified and has third-party testing certificates from accredited independent laboratories like TRI Environmental Incorporated USA, SGI Testing Services USA, BTTG UK, BICS UK, Asian Centre for Ground Improvement and Geosynthetics AIT Bangkok, IIT Madras, Bitra and Sasmira etc. TechFab India Industries Limited is obliged to serve the continuously growing needs of the infrastructure and thereby contribute in the growth of the nation. The application of geosynthetics helps contain soil erosion and contributes to a more stable ecology, thereby helping us in our endeavors towards a greener planet. With the embankment along the Churni River now in place, we hope to take care of many such areas in due course of time, making the river sides a safer place for people like Nadu Bauri. <laughs>